This video is sponsored by Case Defy. More on that later. Hi, happy Monday, and welcome to another video. Guys, it's Josh and me again. You guys remember us? We did a video a few months ago where we acted out POVs, and we went in front of a green screen, and we did some funny little acting, and it was great, and everyone loved it. And we said that people should make fan fictions of us so we can act them out, and that might have been a bad idea. Terrible idea. But today, we're gonna do it because I need to make a video, and Josh is in town, and so this is gonna be great, I think. I think we're gonna learn a lot about ourselves, about our uh, bodies each other perhaps so i think what we're gonna do is look at a couple i just went on wattpad is that how you pronounce it wattpad is it wattpad i never i always say the opposite wattpad 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 i just actually made my own account it's nikki boy 4 i tried to do nikki boy and then i added a bunch of numbers was, to there it was three other nikki boys before you. well there was nikki boy then nikki boy one two and three Dang. so there were four and i'm like the fifth nikki boy four so i typed in nick is not green josh in the search bar and we didn't really know we haven't read any of these since we asked people to make them about us some people would send me them but i never would read them because i wanted to save them for this moment the second one that popped up is reunited a josh is not green love story it's this wonderful photoshopped picture of us from vegas and there are 228 reads on it we've got some readers here it's a seven minute read it's very quick and i don't think but, i can read for seven minutes but eight parts so it's like a saga <laughs> that happens but every it's like is star it, wars is it a trilogy or something it's an octopus every arm oh. Oh, yeah. It's another love uh, experience that we share together. It's gonna be a lot of acting in this one. Yeah. Nick is getting over his breakup when his crush from high school comes back to town. <laughs> Will miscommunication keep them apart? Will they rekindle their last spark? Uh, this is by Ashlyn. Last name. And she only has one story. The bio says, I'm just here to write ironic Josh is not green fan fiction. Dude, it got an award for number 168 in the irony category. So at yeah. some point, if you go to the irony category and you scrolled far enough down, it was you and <laughs> me it's nick's pov so i can read my own okay pov we'll we'll see where it goes oh god this is so bad dude okay let's just start it let's just do it <laughs> nick was laying in bed heartbroken his boyfriend jarvis had just broken up with him the night before nick was crying when he heard his phone ring he hoped it was a call from jarvis asking to get back together but he was a little disappointed to see that it was actually his friend Deb. <laughs> wah, wah. Dude, that happens all the time to me. I'm like getting a call and I'm like, ooh, who could it be? <laughs> Dev. He picked up the phone anyways. Hello? Hi, Nick. How are you doing? What do you think? He answered sarcastically. Let me take you a bar to cheer you up. You might even find someone to distract you from Jarvis. I don't know. I still love him even though he cheated on me. Come on, it'll be fun. Eventually, she convinced him and he started to get ready to go out and maybe meet someone new. Author's note, let me know if you guys like this and I'll write <laughs> some more. Thanks, Ashley. About to turn into a novel. I know, dude. She's gonna write the catching fire of our love story. <laughs> Josh was driving back home to Illinois. He was excited to be back in his old stomping grounds. He looked down the back of his window of his taxi as they passed his old high school, Park Lake High. Dude, we always used to drive past <laughs> Park Lake High. Park Lake High. That was the greatest high school ever. The Lumineers would play at prom. <laughs> it was a really boring prom then. It was a bad prom. Oh. They were going, oh, hey. <laughs> and we were saying, no way. <laughs> he thought about his old friend Chance and that he was excited to catch up with. His mind drifted to his old high school crush, Nick. That's me. He isn't friends with Nick anymore. Not after what happened between them. Josh made it home and started to unpack when he said to himself, this is boring. It's Friday night. I'm gonna go out and party. Josh left his house and headed to a local gay bar. <laughs> I love the author's note here. This chapter was a little shorter, but I was writing it during a hurricane <laughs> and didn't have power, but I wanted to get it published in time. Is she on like a deadline? What's going on? <laughs> it was like, it's a hurricane, you know, with like your flashlight and like your little crank radio. It's like, you know what I'm gonna... She's like, Josh is driving me back home to Illinois. He has a crush. He went to a gay bar. Okay. Oh shit, I'm out of light. <laughs> okay, we don't have all the time in the world, so we're gonna skip to the nitty gritty, if you know what I'm saying. Let's get to chapter four, the reunion. The first time we see each other after being crushes in high school. J Josh, what are you doing back in Illinois? Josh didn't know what to say, so he turned around to leave. He couldn't face Nick after what happened between them. Nick grabbed his arm. Wait, don't leave. Josh pulled his arm away and ran out of the bar. What's going on? Danny and Drew said to each other. Nick followed Josh out of the bar. 
Why did you run away? Nick asked his old crush. The same reason you ran away on prom night. <gasps> Why do you think I ran away? Nick questioned, placing his hand gently on Josh's shoulder. Josh didn't turn around. He spoke softly. You ran away because you didn't- Dude, you're not speaking softly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You ran away because you didn't feel the same way I did. Nick was confused. He didn't know how Josh felt about him. He thought Josh hated him. I thought you hated me. Josh turned around, his eyes not yet looking up to meet Nick's. Well, you were wrong because I loved you. You, you loved me? Nick finally realized what truly happened on prom night. Author's note. Wow, what do you think happened? <laughs> we didn't do anything on prom night. We were losers in high school. We were in our friend's the house and we just hung out. <laughs> Yeah, and then we out. drove to Indiana and that was it. And then I had an AP physics exam on okay, Monday. Okay, okay, Mr. TMI, what are we doing here? I like the idea that she wrote what do you think happened on prom night because she didn't know what the next part of the story is going to be so she was trying to get advice. It's like if George Lucas was like, yo, the Phantom Menace was crazy. Like, what do you think is going to happen in the next movie? Will Darth Vader be Luke's father? Let me know in the comments. Please tell me before I write it. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I had to stop the video because I noticed that you or your friends or someone in your life has a phone case that they bought off of a cheap website and it's peeling and it's breaking and it's not actually protecting your phone. But luckily today's sponsor, Casetify, can help you out. Now this isn't any normal sponsorship. I actually have my own Nick is Not Green phone case that I made with one of my favorite artists, Day Off Limited. It comes in three different awesome colors and it has a great design with a bunch of my friends on it and a bunch of references to my channel. It's great. Even better, Casetify's impact and ultra impact cases are made of 65% recyclable and plant-based material, so you know they're coming from a good place. Their Chitech 2.0 technology offers drop protection from up to 9.8 feet, and I can prove it right here. Hello, is that the uh, phone, not broken phone landline? Because my, because I would fall under that category. <laughs> and it's not just the Nick is not green cases. They have an endless amount of curated print options that can help you pick a case that fits you. You can even personalize a case of your own like I did with these two cases. This one says stinky and this one says barf on it. Finally, the cases feature Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating that kills up to 99% of bacteria. So you can make sure that your cases are keeping you safe. These cases are the perfect gift for any family member or friend so you know that you can get them to share a phone case with me if you want for their birthday the best birthday gift anyone could ask for if you want to be just like me and protect your phone go to casetify.com slash nick is not green for 15 percent off of your order thank you so much to casetify for sponsoring this video let's get back to the fun okay so now this is a flashback to prom before we get back to the present day story. Nick was standing by the wall with his friend Chance, watching everyone dance to the generic copyright free club music, when his other friend and crush, Josh, came up to him and whispered in his ear, basketball court in five minutes. This is an ASMR video too, folks. <laughs> <laughs> the words sent shivers down Nick's back. Josh walked out of the gymnasium. I, I have to go. Nick said to Chance and followed the other boy out. There's no girls in this story. <laughs> yeah, we're the ladies, dude. This is a freaking sausage fest. I mean, it is a gay love story. We Me, can't really you, expect. Chance, Jarvis, uh, Drew, Danny. Drew, Danny. Deb is there. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might not come. Josh said to Nick as he watched him approach. Why wouldn't I come? I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> Why wouldn't I come? I don't know. Maybe you don't want to be alone with me. Josh said, stepping closer to the curly haired boy. Nick breathed heavily, thoughts racing. <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I know what we both want. He said, moving his head towards Nick. Nick was confused and didn't know what was going on. He thought Josh was trying to square up with him and start a fight. In a panic, he ran away, back towards the school, leaving the other boy alone on the basketball court. Nick ran through the school and ran into his classmate, Dev. Are you going to be okay, Nick? She questioned. No, I'm not, he replied, and pushed past her. Josh ran into the school after Nick. He ran into the auditorium, up to his friend Chance. Where did he go? Dude, this is you now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where did he go? He asked loudly. Who? Chance replied. Nick! Josh said louder. Chance looked confused. Never mind. Mind. He yelled angrily and stormed off in the other direction. This was the last time the boys ever saw each other until that night at the bar. So basically the whole reason why we had our falling out is because I thought you were trying to beat me up, but you were trying to give me a little kiss. Okay, now we're back to present day. You, you loved me? Nick finally realized what truly happened on prom night. Josh wasn't trying to square up. He was trying to kiss him. How could I have been so stupid? He said to himself angrily. What did you think I was trying to do? Bite you? Yeah, actually, Nick replied embarrassed. Well, let me do it right this time, Josh said, and leaned in towards Nick. 
Nick started leaning into the kiss too, then pulled away and said, Wait! I'm still in love with Jarvis! Who? Josh said, confused. My ex! Jarvis! He cheated on me with Jordan! Jordan who? Jordan Adika? Josh asked. Yeah! Nick replied. Jordan so is my ex! Josh said angrily, oh my gosh, so the whole reason why I broke up with Jarvis is because he cheated on me with Jordan, who's your ex. So both of our exes cheated on us with each other. What a small world, Nick replied. Yeah, and so many names that start with J. Josh said, well, yeah, that's bound to happen since we're based off real people. Good thing the author didn't write Jake into the story too. Oh, wait, Nick said, breaking the fourth wall. Josh and Nick turned to the camera. What's happening? Happening? Questions Josh. I don't know. I've lost control over my body. Nick replies. I think the author is controlling us. I don't want to be controlled. Cried Josh. The screen turns to black. Finn. Author's note. I hope you guys enjoyed the twist at the end. I did. That was great. So wait, did we never kiss the no, whole we time? Never kissed. The whole love story, we just nothing happened with us. The ending was just we both found out that our exes cheated on us with each other, but I'm still in love with Jarvis, so nothing ended up happening. No, with us. I don't. Uh, the story kind of un unravels. No, it was good. I liked it. I thought it was fun. This one's called Fighting Back. Nick is not green one shot. Nick and Josh are just recording a video about imagines, but things take a left turn when Josh says something he didn't mean to. Lose out or give out slash give up or or live down. Josh and Nick laughed as they read another Imagine. The stupidity of it was funny. It was about YN getting bullied by her ex best friend and her crush helping. Imagine if some like young kid from the 13 original colonies <laughs> read this. His brain would explode like a cartoon. The men couldn't help but chuckle as they reenacted it. Josh was YN and Nick the ex best friend and crush. The cameras cut and the room went black. <laughs> The power went out. Their smiles faded and they looked around the studio. The studio? I like that. What the? Why now? Josh trembled. He was scared of the dark. Nick went up to the scared guy <laughs> to come for him, but he was suddenly pushed away. He stood in dark shock. Huh? Josh, what's wrong? Nick asked, frowning. He was worried. Why was Josh acting like this? They were laughing seconds ago. He knew his friend was scared of the dark, but he didn't know it was this bad. Josh was shaking and sweating, his eyes darting wildly around the room in a panic. Actually, he, he was screaming. Nick covered his ears in distress at the sound. He cried. Nick, shut up. Josh screamed and Nick noticed tears falling down his cheeks. He was crying. His best friend had hurt his feelings. Josh, I'm sorry, he sobbed and Josh's eyes widened. He had made Nick cry and felt horribly guilty. No, Nick, he said, but it was too late. Nick had run out of the room. Josh felt his orbs start leaking. You mean my eyes? His orbs? Yeah, I think those are your eyeballs. How is he gonna fix this mess? He ran after Nick. They found themselves in the kitchen. White walls looked gray in the lighting or lack thereof. However, Nick's tears glistened in the moon's light and Josh assumed his uh -huh. did too. Nick, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. He weeped and reached over to pat Nick on the shoulder. Nick stepped away from the couch, an angry expression on his face. What? Now you're sorry? He yelled and all the windows shattered. <laughs> Josh, Josh flinched. He forgot Nick had superpowers. <laughs> what is going on? He was the only one who knew that Nick had superpowers. Nick hid it from the public because he knew if they knew, he would be trapped in a lab for the rest of his life. Nick, I, I shouldn't have yelled. I'm sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Josh cried out and Nick's angry expression immediately vanished. Jesus, how many times are we going to go back and forth? No, Josh. I'm sorry, he sobbed. Suddenly, the power went back on. They turned around and realized the power had not gone out in the first place. It was Bambi, Nick's cat all along. We read two pretty popular fan fictions of us and, and neither of them we even kissed at all. Maybe they just don't want us to. Yeah, maybe they just know that we're good buddies and there's no tension between us. It was to tell a story. And I like that, that they put the story before the sex and the romance and the nitty gritty details. Well, Josh, how did you feel about that experience? It's definitely enlightening. I hope I get an Oscar. Yeah, I hope I get Oscar. Oscar too. We'll find him at that gay bar that we go to. Oscar. Yeah, he's a good friend. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more things like this, let me know. Give me a holler. If you want to watch more videos from me, 
then do it. There's a bunch of links down below to my other channels. And if you just look me up, there's certainly something out there that you haven't seen yet. I post a lot of videos. Also, I have a song coming out on August 1st. So please click the link in the description down below and you can follow us on Spotify and you can pre-save the song and you can listen to it when it comes out. You're working with Selena Gomez on this one, right? <laughs> yes, me and Selena, we go way back. She killed it. She really did. And she didn't want any credit for it either. So she worked really hard on the song and she said, don't put my name on it. Anyways, thank you again for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. And Josh, why don't you uh, give him some words of wisdom? Um, You always have words of wisdom. I don't Josh. have any words. I'm, I'm running like, dry. You always have like a phrase, you know? Always blame it on Nick.